boom, he took off and came right at me. And uh, I think I got something pretty decent. <laughs> So one of my favorite ways to do bird photography is used to be to use a kayak and I just can't do that anymore. So I purchased a really cheap John boat and but it floats and that's all that matters. And so today I am out here doing my first vlog in my little John boat. I'm sitting in a very comfortable chair and I'm looking at an osprey nest right now. And I was just checking to see if that was another osprey coming uh, to get a flight shot, but it's just a buzzard. So today I'm gonna try to get a shot of an osprey, a decent one in flight. I got some footage yesterday uh, from the other side of the nest from the parking lot, um, but I thought I would just come out here this afternoon and attempt to get some better shots because the afternoon light is actually right on the nest right now whereas yesterday I was uh, shooting backlit um, I did get some oh here he comes oh excuse me for a minute He's still circling around up there, but he's not, uh, he's not very close right now. So as you probably already know, Osprey, they migrate back north to make each summer. And uh, I don't know how many years they even come to this particular nest. And there's also a nest about 200 yards from here where another pair mate. And uh, I actually got some video yesterday of them mating. And uh, Aside from that, the connection between uh, the two birds was so interesting to watch as they were sitting in the nest. I mean, it's like you wish you could get inside their head to, to kind of see what they're thinking. Um, but it's just a really amazing connection. Um, it's, that's what's so cool about wildlife and taking time to watch them and observe them because you see all kinds of behaviors and a lot of times you wouldn't even expect it. The osprey in the nest is, is calling out uh, really consistently right now. 
I'm not sure if you can hear it. So I'm watching for the mate to see if it comes in responding to her calls. Well, a buzzard came in uh, close to the osprey nest and obviously the osprey did not like that. So they had a little bit of a mid-air battle. Uh, wasn't able to get any video. Things were happening really fast. I, I got a few uh, still photos um, just to document it. Um, I'm sure the photos aren't gonna be that spectacular, but uh, at least I got it documented. It was pretty neat to see that. Uh, now we only have one osprey sitting in the nest and I believe the male is probably out looking uh, for some food or it's perched somewhere else. But I'm sure if that buzzard comes back close to the nest, um, the second osprey will certainly be back. Uh, sorry for the wind, it's really windy. Um, and I know I'm backlit here, but I'm keeping my eye on the osprey nest still. Just got a pretty decent shot of a blue heron in flight. It was over by the bank getting a drink, and I was kind of like staying focused on it just in case it moved, and I really honestly didn't think it would. And I uh, took a few still shots of it drinking. You know, it was kind of far away. It's probably not anything I would share, and boom, he took off and came right at me. And uh, I think I got something pretty decent and probably the best in-flight heron shot I've ever got. back again it was even closer on the bank and it took off flying for me again and uh, got another good in-flight shot of a heron uh, and again I'll share the settings with you But I appreciate you coming along. I appreciate your support. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to support me through Ko-fi, you can buy me a coffee. I'll leave a link in the description below. Thank you for all who've done that for me. And, uh, you know, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Did I already say that? Consider subscribing. And I hope you enjoy the content. And until next time, take care.